This is a new type of video from us. Today, we're gonna to be looking at five of our favorite camera accessories that are each under 50 pounds. Links to everything can be down in the description below. We haven't really done a video like this before, but today we're gonna to be taking a look at five of our favorite camera accessories that are each under 50 pounds. Links to everything will be down in the description below. Manfrotto makes some fantastic clamps that many of you have probably already used. And I only realized that Manfrotto also makes this, the Pico clamp, the other week. And it's seriously an awesome and versatile little mounting clamp. Not only can you mount it via the clamp, but you can also mount it to a thread using a double head stud, which Smorig and Manfrotto both make. This makes it incredibly versatile. The clamp itself is really light at just 70 grams, and is rated to hold up to two kilograms, which is a lot of weight to hang off of such a small clamp. I found this while trying to find a way to mount a mini XLR to XLR adapter to the side of the C70 using a cage, and this does just that. However, what you can use this with is pretty open-ended. You could use it to mount small lights, to hold a microphone in a very compact way, hold a monitor, hold Tilters Nucleus M or N hand units onto tripod pan bars or rigs. There are seriously so many uses for it. And at just £32, it's a pretty affordable clamp and it's definitely a hidden gem in the Manfrotto lineup. Keeping your rig tidy will not only make it nicer to shoot with for you and the people you are working with on set, but it also make changing anything on your rig or breaking down much easier. This is where cable management accessories come in and one of our current favorites are these awesome little sprig attachments. All you have to do is twist them into a thread on your camera package and now you can just clip the cables into the holder. They currently have two different sizes, one designed for quarter inch threads, which will also have a smaller diameter for cables than the larger ones designed for 3 8 threads. You can also get them in a range of colours, such as black if you want to hide them as much as possible, as well as a range of more vibrant colours if you want to make them stand out more. Or even use colour specific ones on different camera packages so you know exactly what rig you are looking at. There are also glow in the dark versions too, which could be great if you want to be able to see them in lower light scenarios. They are also pretty affordable with a pack of 6 of the quarter inch versions or a pack of 3 of the 3 8 versions costing just £18. They also make a sprig holder for the quarter inch version, which will allow you to carry six on a simple holder. However, a nice simple clear bag that you can grab off Amazon will do just fine here as well. All in all, these awesome little things can really help tidy up your cable runs and make your rig so much nicer to handle while shooting. More and more cameras have started to have ND filters built in now, which is great to see. However, if you're not lucky enough to have one of those or are and want to use some kind of front mounted filter, then a great affordable solution for this is the Revo ring. This simple accessory is essentially a variable step up ring that you can mount your filter to and then quickly switch it between your different lenses. There are currently five different sizes depending on what size lenses you'd like to use the filter across. Each one will then take a certain screw on filter size. Say for example, you're an A7S3 or FX3 user with a 24 to 70 2.8G master and a 24 mm G master. The 24 to 70 has a filter thread of 82 mm and the 24mm has a filter thread of 67. You'll be able to grab the 67 to 82mm Revo ring, attach an 82mm filter, and then use it across both lenses quickly and easily. It's really simple and will save you from having to either buy multiple of your favourite filters or messing around with multiple step up rings that can be a nightmare sometimes. I've seriously lost count how many times I've had step up rings bound to filters and they can be very difficult to get off. The Revo ring is also available with an ND and a polarizer filter built in or a black mist filter. The built in filter version is well put together and we've used the ND one a bunch on several shoots and have been impressed with the quality of the ND and the adapter itself. However, I think the regular adapter will be far more popular as it's much more flexible as it will allow you to use any filter you'd like as well as switch out to another if you need to. The versions with the filters built in are a good bit more expensive, whereas the regular Revo rings only differ in price slightly between each other, with the smaller ones costing £34 and the larger ones costing £43. These make using screw on filters across your different lenses so much easier, and at a solid price point too, so they're definitely worth checking out if you haven't before. Protecting your kit is so important, and our next accessory are Temba's fantastic wraps. They are essentially a soft protective wrap for various pieces of kit. There are several brands that make these, but Temba makes some of our favourites. These wraps are designed to wrap around various different pieces of fragile kit, such as monitors, lenses, or even camera bodies in a decently thick and affordable soft padded fabric to protect it in transport from small scratches. These are not designed to protect your kit from drops, purely from wear and tear while being stored or transported within a bag or pelly. 
Temba offers them in three different sizes, 12, 16, and 20 inches in diameter. 12 inch would be good to put smaller accessories such as an external recorder in. 16 inch will be good for putting medium lenses in such as a 24 to 70 or a larger prime. And the 20 inch will fit cameras and even 13 inch MacBook Pros. They also have a little label window on the top of the wraps. So you can label them if you are using several wraps in a single bag or pelly. I really like these and we use them a lot when transporting kit during our shoots and our showroom staff use them too when sending kit around. They are a really handy and affordable way to make sure your kit stays in the best condition you can keep it. Tools and screws are always really handy to have on set and this small rig screw and hex key storage kit is a really nice little solution for anyone rigging up cameras looking to start to build out their tool selection. Out of the box you get a whole bunch of common screws that can be used while rigging. You have the storage plate, two quarter 20 flathead screws, eight quarter 20 hex screws, two 3 8 16 flathead screws, two M2.5 hex screws, two M3 trim head screws, two M4 hex screws, two M5 hex screws, and four hex keys consisting of a 3 16, four, three, and two, which also has a flat head on the other end of it. All these tools are magnetic and simply clip onto their designated areas on the plate. The plate has a huge range of threads all over it for not only the included screws, but any extras that you want to store in it too. It's great that it comes with four different screws ready for different tripod plates and base plates that you may lose. When it comes to storing the unit, it comes with a soft pouch to store it in. However, it also has a cutout in the top left corner to use some kind of attachment, whether that's in a bag, on a pegboard, or attached to a belt. At just £23, this is quite a nice little package to grab if you want some basic tools and a decent amount of screws that you may need in a pinch. I know we've gone through our five products, but do you know what the most popular product on our website is? The a 7 3 An SD card? Nope, it's our CVP microfiber lens cloth. We decided to change the design up a few years ago, and these newer ones feature design elements from test charts that we use a lot, are a really good size at 30 by 30 centimeters, and the quality of the microfiber is really good. We use them all the time in the studio, and given their price, they are some of the best microfibers I've ever used. So that's been five of our favorite camera accessories under 50 pounds. Let us know what you think of the products we've spoken about here, whether you like this type of video, and whether we should do more, and if there's anything you find essential that we may not know about down in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching.